you know, love how we were ready to play and stayed in character. 26 assists, moving the ball. Obviously got a lot of guys who can make shots. You know, Matt Ryan's performance was awesome, fabulous. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing weapon. He's been getting healthier and getting his legs back, and he needed a game like that tonight. How could he build on that now, not to make it just one night, carry it over for the next month or so? Well, if our beat writer doesn't pick on him in the paper, maybe he'll play better. <laughs> I'm Other than the, that idiot beat writer. No, uh, no I'm kidding. Um, you know, I, I would hope he'd really feel good about it. You know, um, one of the things, you know, that I've been after him, after him about really the last two weeks, but, but even more so the last week was, you know, in shooting drills and everything, moving more game speed. He glides a little bit. I've had Ryan Ayers bring him in early before practice, maybe after class in mid-morning, and just for 20 minutes. But he's got to move quick in between shots, kind of how he was moving tonight to get into his stuff. And I think the carryover is better because um, he's got to move that way in practice so it carries over to the games. But it's a great weapon. Um, you know, I think we, we got to know when to ride him and when not to ride him. But he's doing some other things too. You know, he's rebounded the ball for us. You know, he, he, he's gotten better defensively. He's a better passer than, than you think. Um, he just needs to know what's a good one. And, but when you're in a, when you're in a, what I love about it, his teammates knew he was at a, in a whole nother level and, and they really found him. I thought that was really, really intelligent of them. Mike, with, with that in mind, you guys didn't seem to get like out of character looking for him. Uh, how do you continue to just operate the offense normally with yeah. that high? Yeah, I think I think our maturity is really solid. <clears throat> you know, we uh, we we've been steady since June. It's been a it's been an interesting demeanor group, and obviously it was tested in New York, and and it really was fabulous to see the poise and different guys making plays. I think we know we have a lot of different weapons. We don't have to ride just one. You know, it wasn't a great offensive night for Bonzi. The defense are playing. He's not getting shots, but he has five assists. You know, he gets 11 rebounds, and, and you know, I, I think he's okay with that. You know, he's okay with that. We don't have anybody, you know, uh, insecure about, you know, not getting their stuff. Steve had 19 in the season high for him, too. Yeah. Kind of getting into the better shooting rhythm? Yeah, I, I think, you know, he's a player of the week candidate. We'll nominate him as our player of the week this week with what he did in New York. And obviously, Matty Farrell was fabulous and was kind of the story. But Steve Astoria has been flat out off the charts, and we put him on the best guard on the other team. You know, so what he's doing right now, I'm thrilled about. Um, you know, uh, I just we, – we're doing a good job of – with our practice – you know, we're not wearing anybody out in practice. You know, we're getting our work done in a shorter window, so those legs are fresh then to compete on game night. Kevin, the defense, yeah, I think you left both the top scorers cut it half in half. Yeah, yeah. The um, <laughs> that you know, um, I thought overall we were pretty good. We played a lot of zone tonight, and um, you know, and, and just to get some reps in it. Um, you know, I, the, defending is something this group has kind of gotten proud of. And, and when they, I, I don't think we were as focused every possession as we were in New York. Um, but when they really lock in and defend and think about blocking out, and they, they were scared against Colorado Monday, and they're really good, you know. And, and my job is to scare the hell out of them before Tuesday night again. Whether it's from the field or from three or even from the foul line, is there just a feeling that you're going to just – eventually make more shots than uh, from wherever more shots are, are falling. You know, I mean, it, you know, it, it, this is our offensive efficiency with this group, the offensive efficiency that's been the hallmark of the program. This is kind of it on steroids. Yeah. You know, we're not going to turn the thing over. All right. We're going to find, we got enough guys are going to make a shot. We're going to move the ball and we're better defensively where eventually over 40 minutes, it should kick in. If, and we got to stay in character and get the, have the right guys on. You know, it's up for me to get the right guys on the floor at the right time. But the efficiency really kind of can take over eventually. And it's, it's, just, it's just hard to score more than us, you know, because we're so efficient on the offensive end. With Rex out, did you get a look at any different lineups? Or? Not really. I thought it was a great opportunity for T.J. Gibbs and Matt Ryan to get more minutes. 
Um, the rib is active. You know, he he hurt it in the Loyola game with a charge, and he he aggravated it in, in uh, New York, and then he aggravated it yesterday. So we're going to need him. You know, he'll be back Tuesday. But it, what it was, it was a great opportunity for TJ and Matt Ryan, and man, did they take advantage of it.